everybody, welcome back to Nourish from the Hood Pilates. Today we are doing a quick ab session. So when you're ready, meet me on the mat and let's get in a nice, quick, efficient flow. Okay, so we're gonna get straight into it. Meet me on your backs. We're gonna start with a couple of pelvic tilts just to warm up our ab area, but also our hip area. So inhale, engage your core. Exhale, and as you're exhaling, tilt your hip bones towards your thighs and then tilt your hip bones back up towards your waist. So we're gonna do a couple of these towards your thighs, tilt them up towards your waist, and try to engage your core when they're tilted up towards your waist, really tighten everything, scoop in those abs, feel them contract, release, tilt towards your hips. Let's do two more. Breathe, clear it out. One more. Push them out. Next, I want you to meet me in a neutral position. So there's a little bit of a gap. Your spine is not imprinted into the mat. There's a little bit of space right here. Squeeze your hands into the mat. Lift your legs into the tabletop position. Inhale, exhale. Scoop those abs, bring them towards your spine. Core is engaged, nice strong core throughout this whole thing. When you're ready, we're gonna begin with single leg toe taps. So bring your right leg towards the end of the mat, pull it up, same thing with your left leg. Another thing here is I'm not changing my leg position. I'm simply just dropping it down, using my core, the powerhouse, to then lift it back up. If it helps, you can place your hands on your hips, but make sure you have a strong core through the whole thing because our core is what helps us lift the leg back up. So let's do 10 on each side. 10. Nice and slowly if you have to. Nine. Keep your core engaged. Eight. You should feel this. Your obliques. Seven, point your toes. Put energy throughout your whole leg. Six. And you might be the person who can't tap your toes all the way down on the mat and that's totally fine. Maybe going up to here makes you feel your obliques be engaged and that's fine. Go as long as you feel um, that you're doing the work and you actually feel the burn. You don't have to go anywhere past a point that is just straight up uncomfortable for you. That's not the point. So let's do two more. Be right here, be focused on your mat. One more. On each side, hold, take a breath, inhale, exhale. We're gonna go into double toe tap. So both legs will be reaching towards the tip of the mat. Use your core to bring them back up. Again, same thing here. If you can only go halfway and you feel the burn right here, that's fine. Listen to your body. So let's do 10. Nine. Really focus here. The trick is to dig your hands into the mat so it provides you with some support and stability and then lower your legs up until you feel the burn. Lift back up. Seven. Six, breathe. Five. Don't strain your lower back. Go as low as it feels good. Three. Two. One, hold your legs in tabletop position. Reach those arms out in front of you. And now slowly start to extend your right leg. And as you extend your right leg, so does your left arm, except for it goes behind your head. Bring it to center. Same thing with opposite side. Extend left leg, extend right arm. Pull it back in. 10. Nine. Same thing here, only go as low as it feels good. But even through our arms, right? I want energy throughout every body part. So fingers are apart, they're reaching above your head. You're feeling the lengthening motion of all of it and we're feeling the bird. Make sure to breathe. Point your toes so we're working the whole leg here as well. Not just our abs. Five. Four, 
Think about the area we're working. It's our core mind-body connection. Two. One. Last one on each side. Bring it in. Give yourself a hug. Breathe. Soften your face. Nod your head no. Loosen everything up. I'm just going to push myself up towards the mat so you can see. And next, stick your hands out in this T position or goal post, no, actually T position. Legs into tabletop, we're gonna do a couple of rotations where we feel the resistance and then we're gonna bring it back to center. So again, we're working on our obliques but also the middle of our core. So really press your hands into the ground. Knees are together, feet are together, inhale, exhale. Engage your core slowly. Keep your shoulders on the mat. So your shoulder blades are stuck on the mat, they're not moving. The only thing that's moving are your knees slightly over to the left until you feel the burn, your obliques. Bring it back to center. Repeat on the right. Bring it back to center. Push your knees together, feet together. Make them into basically one leg and then slowly rotate until you feel the burn. Back to center, let's do 10. Shoot your arms into the ground. Nine. Knees are pushing in together, feet are together. Eight. Center, rotate. Center, seven. Six, again, make sure your hands are really pressing in. So we're also activating our arms here not just our core. By pushing our knees together, we're getting an inner thigh workout as well. So really, all parts of our body are working even though it's a core flow. Three. Just in your face. Two, be nowhere else but your mat. Last one on each side. One. And we're gonna do the same movement. You can give yourself a hug for a second. Same movement, we're gonna add another layer onto it. So, extend your arms out again into this T position. Legs are in tabletop position. Once again, we're keeping our knees together, feet together. As we rotate to the side, I want you to kick outwards, point your toes, bend your knees again, bring it back to center. Same thing on the other side. So the addition here is this slight kick that we're doing on the outside. So kick when your legs are rotated so you feel more of a burn in your obliques. So let's do 10. Kick. Nine. Kick. Point your toes so our legs are working as well. Seven. Six, strong core. Five, don't add any more frown lines to your face. Just close your eyes and feel this movement. Flow with it. Visualize where the burn is supposed to be. Promise you mind-body connection makes all the difference in the world. Two, kick. And one, kick. Bring it back to center. Reach your arms above your head. Bring your hands behind your head and let's just do a couple of basic sit-ups right here. 10, nine, elbows are wide. My abs are shaking, but we're going into burn mode. Five, four, three, two, one. Hold it here. Extend your hands out hundreds. So pump, pump, pump. Inhale, exhale, inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, five. And really create a gap between your fingers and pump. Anything you're angry about, pump it out. Anything you're stressed about, pump it out. Pump, pump, get the energy out of your body. Two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Strong core, make sure your core is pushing up towards your spine, core is engaged. Let's do one more, inhale, two, 
three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Bring your knees in, give yourself a hug. Rotate side to side. Bring your legs into diamond shape, maybe stretch out your inner thighs here. Feet are touching, sink into the stretch for a second. Shake them out. And when you're ready, once again, hands behind your head. We're gonna begin in tabletop position. When you're in the correct position, flex your feet. What I want you to do is just kick outwards, bring it in. Kick outwards, bring it in. If this hurts your neck, you are welcome to put it on the mat and kick from here, whichever position feels good. Otherwise, if you want an extra challenge, lift your head up, chin off your chest, elbows are wide, and let's do 10, nine, eight. I don't want you to bring your knees all the way in. I just want it to stop right at the 90 degrees so you're not using too much momentum. Six, five, kick. Really visualize your kick. Two, one. Move into different variations now because I'm going to show you how changing the position of your foot will help you target different areas of your core and feel the burn in different places. So we started with the flex. Now I want you to bring your heels together. Same thing here, kick. Feet are still flexed. Kick. Let's do 10. Elbows are wide. Eight. You can put your head down if you need to again. Six. Five, exhale with the kick, three, two, one, remain in tabletop, point your toes, same thing, extend them out, bring them in, ten, nine, eight, targeting different areas of our core, six, Core is engaged. Point your toes. Two. One. Bring it in. Give yourself a hug again. Rotate side to side. Maybe open up your jaw. I really tense my jaw when I am working out. And I love when instructors tell me to soften because it reminds me not to keep everything so tense and contracted. So. Maybe you're like me and you have to loosen up your jaw a little. It will take a second to do that. Otherwise, once again, bring your hands behind your head, lift yourself up off the mat. Toes are pointed, they're in tabletop position. Extend your left leg out, rotate your elbow towards your right knee, bring it in. We're gonna repeat this movement on our right side. 10, nine, eight, only lower your leg as low as it feels good. Six, five. Try not to tilt too much to your side. You wanna make sure you're still in the center of your spine. Two, one. Repeat the same on the other side. So inhale, exhale. Lift yourself off the mat, tabletop once again. Extend your right leg out, reach Right elbow to left knee, bring it in. 10, nine, rotate through your core. Eight, both your hips should be on the mat. Seven, six, five, rotate through the core. Two, one, hold it in tabletop. Reach your arms above your head, bring it in. 10, 9, 8, 7, really reach your legs, 6, see if you can lower the angle to challenge yourself, 4, 3, 2, everything with power here, kick, 1, hug it in, rotate side to side, 
Maybe open your legs up in baby position and hang out here for a little bit. Flex your feet. Breathe. Strengthening our core, but then our whole body during this flow. So the beauty of Pilates is you're never just targeting one area of your body. Guaranteed something else is working along with the muscle you're targeting. On that note, I hope you felt that quick, speedy, but slow burn today. I hope you were present on your mat, making time for yourself and nothing else. I hope it felt good to move your body because we're all worthy of well-being and movement is a form of self-love and care. That being said, I hope you guys have a lovely weekend. Thank you for joining me today and I'll see you guys in the next one.